We just got off the Wildcat. If and that isn't the best ride you've ever ridden, I don't know what is. That is unbelievable. The whole experience, because it's a wooden roller coaster. You actually get the jolting it's around and all this so stuff. It's so intense. Yeah, the bigger metal ones are like smooth. They, you know, they cruise. But this one really just jostles. You think that thing's coming off the track sometimes? <laughs> it's great. We are at Hershey Park, finally. We've been wanting to come here for years. We heard so much good stuff about it. Maroon 5 is going to be playing at the stadium tonight, so we're gonna be getting some tunes in the background, which will be sweet. But right now we are standing in front of Hershey's Chocolate World, where we can go in and get tours of how the chocolates and stuff are made. We're gonna do that first before heading into the park. This is free to all guests, and it's about 15 minutes long. They show you how the chocolate's made, and right when you get off the tram, you can hop in there before going into the park. Super, super excited. I'm gonna be eating all the candy all day. Dave actually has been here before. This is my first time. So we have just made it inside Hershey's Chocolate World and it is jam packed in here, but there's a ton of stuff going on. You can do the chocolate tour. There's also a 4D movie that looks really, really cool. So much merchandise, candy. I'm just a little bit overwhelmed. We are right in front of the chocolate tour. It takes about, what, 15 minutes or yeah. so to get through the whole thing. It doesn't cost anything? No, it's free, which is great. And this is kind of like Spaceship Earth. The line looks really long, but I think it will move really quickly. Yeah. I thought the line would move pretty quickly, but it's honestly an hour and a half wait to get on the ride. And that's just too long for us to do right now. Yeah, we don't have that much time today. We want to make sure we see most of the important things, at least in the park itself. This is more of like an extra attraction right at the first beginning part of the whole park. Walking up to the main entrance right now and it's called Hershey's Chocolate Town. This is a great entrance, you guys. Super, super nice. I am honestly surprised at how clean this park is already. And we actually did buy our tickets online and were able to save a little bit of money, so I highly recommend doing that. We just made it through the main gate and security and the bag check process was super easy. I already spot a Starbucks to my left, so maybe we'll grab a matcha. Matcha in hand, and now we're just gonna walk around and see what we wanna do first. Definitely gonna ride some rides, eat some really good food. I will say the matcha was much more expensive than it is usually at Starbucks. I think it was two or three dollars more, so take that into account. After you make your way past Starbucks, you come into this little carnival looking area. So many old school rides in here. They have Space Age, and then back behind me are the balloons that Dave was talking about. He took some really great B-roll of that but I just love how you mix the huge roller coasters with these old school carnival rides. It's just giving me such a great deal. Okay, so for our first ride, we're gonna go on the mini pirate, so. You're getting old when you have to bring Dramamine <laughs> to the amusement park because <laughs> you're gonna get motion sickness on all these rides. The scrambler behind me, I could not even imagine going on that right now. I would just throw up everywhere. <laughs> Right above us right now is the monorail. We can't wait to go on that later on. It takes you all around the entire park. It's kind of like Disney World, but this monorail actually is open, so you don't have windows like you do in Disney. And obviously for Disney, that's more for the resort. But really, really cool. The line is super long right now, so we'll try and do that a little bit later on. Just like Starbucks, there are a ton of your favorite restaurants here in Hershey Park. Right in front of me is a Chick-fil-A. Also behind me there is a Subway, also a Nathan's, and a Chickies and Pete's. So that is great that they have a lot of your favorite foods here. I'm tempted to get a Chick-fil-A sandwich, but I think I'm gonna hold off for now and see what else is in the park. 
all over the entire park they have Pepsi fast fill stations where you can buy a refillable mug for around $17 and get your drinks all day long. Really, really cool, just like Disney with their refillable mugs. We are standing right in front of Tidal Force, which is a huge log flume here in Hershey Park. We just watched one come down and the people got soaking wet. This one is no joke, you guys. A lot of people are just going on in their bathing suits. The guys are just taking off their shirts because you get drenched. Even behind me, they do have this little area where you can dry off. It's this cool little contraption that blows hot air at you. So definitely smart, but yeah. this one is awesome. Yeah, we're standing in the splash zone right now. So people don't even have to be on the ride to get wet. You can actually get splashed by the thing coming down itself. And so, it's a huge wave. Yeah, it's huge. Definitely. So I'm gonna move right now. First roller coaster of the day, it's gonna be the Wildcat. This is the ride Dave has talked about the most, so I'm super excited to go on it. Wooden roller coasters always give me the biggest headache because they're just so jumbly, very rough, but they are the best. They're just so classic, so the drop looks pretty big on this one as well, so. Definitely getting a little nervous. We just got off the Wildcat. If and that <laughs> isn't the best ride you've ever ridden, I don't know what is. That is unbelievable. The whole experience, because it's a wooden roller coaster. You actually get the jolting it's around and all this so stuff. Intense. Yeah, the bigger metal ones are like smooth. They, you know, they cruise, but this one really just jostles. You think that things coming off the track sometimes, <laughs> it's great. We are now headed on the Lightning Racer. This is yes. another wooden roller coaster and there's actually two sides to it. So you race the other car that's going next to you, which is really cool. Yeah. This one doesn't look as big as the Wildcat, which I'm kind of happy about. <laughs> lost against thunder though we lost but, but isn't lightning always first so <laughs> i don't know that drop in the beginning is even more steep than yeah. the wildcat so that yeah. was awesome it's not but, as high but it is as, yeah. it's definitely more steep it's really steep and this one isn't as rickety so you're not getting jumbled around as much but yeah. Super fun, love them both. We are now making our way to the monorail. It looks like it's gonna rain in a little bit, so we definitely wanna try and do this before that happens. But I'm excited to go on this. It may even tell you a little bit about the park, but it takes you around the entire park, which is really cool. Before the monorail, we just had to grab a snack because we're that hungry. So we're at the pretzel house and they're hand rolled. They look so yummy. Yeah, they do. Mmm, so soft, nice and hot, doughy, perfect amount of salt on it, so we're going to eat this up and then head back over to the monorail. And you can't have a soft pretzel without some fresh squeezed lemonade. Really good. So refreshing. We grabbed another snack. The yep. line for the monorail is a bit long, so we were like, let's grab another snack, and popcorn is the best. You have to have popcorn when you're in an amusement park. This is about $5, you get a lot for $5. Yeah, so. and we actually got this from a person that's going around on a cart with slushies and popcorn. So. And cotton candy. And she has cotton candy too, so, so be on the lookout. So we're in line, and then we'll see you guys on the monorail. And we're off. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> and there's no seatbelt. It's just like Wildcat. Apparently there's some information that they give you about, about the park while you go around it, which is pretty cool. Welcome aboard the Hershey Park monorail. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. Oh, this is relaxing. And this place, you guys, is really cool. They have all those cool milkshakes, those really like extravagant ones. 
with all the different toppings. It comes in a nice little glass mug, which is so cool. So we did in fact get the milkshake as well. We're waiting for it to be made, eating up that soft serve, which is so good. She's gonna try out the uh, vanilla chocolate yes. twist ice cream. How much was that one? $4.25 for the size, which is pretty good. Yeah. Mm, it is so creamy. Is it? And we went with the mint milkshake. There's three different types of milkshakes you can get here. The first one is the Cup Fusion, which is peanut butter. Then you have your Hershey's Chocolate Town, which is just all the chocolate in the world in that one. And then the mint Merciless, which looks so good. It comes with this little like mint cookie on top that I can't wait to try. This is like a two for one deal. Inside is all that mint goodness. And then we have the Reese's on the outside. And they kind of messed up, but to our benefit. And like I said, I thought this was glass, but obviously they're not gonna have glass in a theme park. So it is plastic, but really, really nice. You can take this mug home. Super, super chocolatey. I don't taste too much mint inside, so I'm guessing that the mint is in this little cookie cake right here. Mm -hmm. Also on the back, we have two chocolate-covered pretzels. Loving the presentation, just really picture-worthy, so definitely recommend getting this. It was around $15. We had so many great snacks here today at Hershey, and I just went to the bathroom, and it smells like chocolate in there. Not that chocolate. <laughs> Hershey's chocolate, so that's really, really cool. We just got some goodies to bring home with us, but we hope you guys enjoyed this little part of the vlog. Tomorrow we're going to Strasburg again, so we can't wait for that. Yes. But we had the sweetest day possible, and we'll see you guys in our next video. Good night, adventurers. What's up, everyone? We are back at Strasburg Railroad, and today we're actually gonna go on the railroad, and I'm super, super excited. Yeah, I think we got a President's Class Club car mm -hmm. ride, so we may have air conditioning, which is nice because it's about 85 degrees out and the sun's beating down. So we're gonna go through the tobacco fields and the corn fields. We're gonna see a lot of that Amish country and gardens and vegetables and all that stuff. So it should be very cool. Last time we came here, we just walked around the property. If you guys haven't watched that video, please do so. We will link it down below for you. But yeah, tickets are not that expensive as well, which is great. I think for the president's car, it was only about $25 per person, so it's not too bad. Now we're gonna head over to the train right now. We're gonna get our tickets or whatever they have to do to scan our passes, and then we'll be on our way. chartered the Strasburg Railroad, allowing the construction of this four and a half miles of track that we call a short line. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is what allowed this piece of Pennsylvania Dutch country to connect with the mighty Philadelphia and Columbia Railroad. <laughs> to increase steam pressure in the boiler. It's a process known as hustling. just finished up the train ride in the president's car. That, you guys, was one of the coolest train rides we've ever had. So much fun. We would recommend, though, getting here very early so you can get one of the little special carts to yourselves. We actually had to sit with other people, so that was kind of a little bit of a bummer. That's why we didn't vlog on the train. But other than that, it was really cool. Tons of history, and especially about the farms in the surrounding area. We actually were in the dining area of the cart, of uh, the president's cart and there are guest rooms and other things. I guess there's like an observation room on the back of it, which then hooked up to the front end of the locomotive when it came back around to take us back to Strasburg. So it was really cool. We got the whole experience. We got to be in the front of the, of the train and the back of the train, really cool. So we just had some bugles. <laughs> because the place that we wanted to go, which we are going to come back to, was closed, unfortunately, for Labor Day. Tell them a little bit about that, because that's going to be in one of our next videos coming up. It's called Shady Maple Schmorgersborg. 
<laughs> it's the smorgasbord, but super awesome place, you guys. It's the largest buffet in America. Very, very popular. We watched a few YouTube videos on it. Looks great, so we can't wait to be back. We will see you guys in the next one. Stay tuned, because there's a lot of cool things coming up this summer and fall. Bye.